Alright guys, welcome to the Alpha House. Today I'm going to show you the best way to really work out your core, trim that outer layer of fat, and just pop out those abs for shirtless sure season. So let's get started guys. Today I'm going to teach you the secret. He's got lost. Yeah. Guys, look at that. Train out. What is up, Alphas? We at the Alpha House. Today, guys, I'm going to show you a couple of core workouts that you can do at home pretty easy. Pretty easily. All I'm really using right now is a, a skateboard and a sofa. So let's get started. We're going to do each workout for 30 seconds. Let's get it going. See my timer here. Stopwatch on. First one, grab on here. All you're doing are leg raises like this. Alright guys, just start this timer and go. When you're going down, try to do it a little slowly so you can really start to feel your car, your core start to like just burst. There we go, 22 seconds. Alright, the next one, all I want you to do is just kick out. Just kick out, guys. Trust some guys, you should be feeling this right now. Alright, guys, 30 seconds. Next one, what I want you to do are just bring them up like that, alright? Let's go. These you can do on the floor. I just like silver, but it's pretty comfortable. There's the next one. This is kind of easier on the floor. Moving on. We're going to move on to some uh, crunches now. On the floor, like this. All you're doing, crossing your legs, crunches. 30 seconds. Ooh, you guys are feeling good now. Alright. Now on to my skateboard. Alright, sweet. So there's two workouts that you can do the skateboard. One, you run you work out on the top part of the core and just go down with it. Stay on your knees, guys. It's kind of pretty self-explanatory. Grab your wherever you're comfortable, give me the front, make sure you're not up here, otherwise you're gonna kick it up, make sure you're not on this tail, otherwise you're gonna kick it forward. Doesn't have to be in the middle, doesn't have to be on the bolts. Hold on to it. Let's go down with it. Make sure you're make sure you don't fall to the floor. We're trying to get really close to it. The closer you go down, the harder, the more the stretch you feel, the more you engage your core.
Don't be afraid to go slow with this because you want to enjoy the pain. I feel excellent now, guys. Alright, the last one put the board behind you, put your legs somewhere in the middle of the board. Get up into a plank position and pull it in. Try to pull in the board. Your arms aren't moving, they're staying straight. You just pull in the board. Try to keep your knees to your chin. Just really try to bring it up there as far as possible. Kind of sliding over your butt. <sighs> and there you have it, guys. Those are some alpha core workouts you can do at home or you can do wherever you want. All you need is a skateboard and the floor, guys. It's really not hard to like do some calisthenics and do whatever you want. It's just that you actually have to make the time to actually do it. So guys, to really build your core, it's all really about consistency mixed with three different things. Your workout, obviously, your diet, and to surprise you guys, it's actually sleep. Sleep has a major, huge impact on recovery time, and it really chops down the recovery time down a lot. If you get you should be getting anywhere between six or even eight hours of sleep, but it's all up to you. I usually get anywhere between seven or eight hours of sleep. I really focus on making the time for me to sleep. I I set an alarm at 5.30 in the morning, guys. I always go to sleep early because sleep is so important for me. Make sure you make the time for that. Uh, other thing, working out, kind of obvious, guys. Last thing is dieting. Pick a diet, stick to it, and even before you pick a diet, research it well. And the third one is the workout, guys. Obviously, you gotta work out, but the thing is with core, most people don't know, is that you actually have a six pack under layers of fat, really. So what you wanna do, you gotta figure out a way to make it pop out and really show. So either, either you build it up, or you trim down the outer layer of fat. The best way of doing it is not to build it up, otherwise you just look at your belly. It's actually to, so the best way to do it is actually bring down the outer layer of fat and really just chop it off. So that's by dieting and doing your workout. You don't want to do really hours and hours of core every single day. You don't even have to dedicate an entire day to do it. You just got to keep it consistent. Maybe I do, for me personally, I do two minutes every night and maybe even two minutes when I go to the gym three times a week. Uh, core, doesn't need, uh, core doesn't need to be a crazy amount, it just needs to be consistent and with, in addition to that I need proper diet and proper sleep guys. That's all for today guys, train sane, train alpha. Peace out baby. Woo!